I've been sitting here and I've heard a lot about a lot of talking, uh, significant process, progress. Can you expound on that just a little bit? Like, what kind of progress? Uh, how about if I take it down to a very granular level? Okay. Um, we have an IP attache in um, Guangzhou in southern China. And there was a U.S. rights holder that had uh, a lot of difficulties with somebody um, allegedly infringing his patents in China. And there's something that I have never been to, but it's huge, and so I'd like to go there someday. It's called the Canton Trade Fair, or trade show. It's like the biggest in the world. Perhaps Congressman Marino is aware of it, but it's huge. It's supposed to be a giant event. Can we there kind was of a, an indi individual at a booth who actually was the culprit who was infringing a U.S. company. Our IP attache from Guangzhou brought the U.S. rights holder there along with enforcement personnel, and that issue was a, that individual who was doing the infringement was kicked out of the Canton trade show. So that was one very um, granular detail on something that we did because the So he was kicked out. Pardon me? He was kicked out. Yes. Uh, any other enforcement action taken on this person or just allowed to leave? I, you know, I don't know about the follow-up. I okay. just happened to hear it because it had just happened when I had been there. And it All was, right. They weren't well, that, that's what I'm trying to get to is what, what kind of follow-up do we have, and I'd be interested in hearing that. Um, you know, foreign countries have already used compulsory licensing in the pharmaceutical space, but what about clean energy technologies? Do you know if any foreign governments are raising this as an option instead of paying for environmental technologies? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm not aware of anything in the green technology area, but I know that that's a very sensitive area at this time. Um, perhaps some of my colleagues back at the PTO are working on that, but that is has. Can you get us the answer to that question? Yes, we'll get back to you. All countries that have signed on to the TRIPS agreement have committed to not discriminating against any field of technology when it comes to patenting. What types of restrictions have you seen in some of these foreign markets that go directly against this commitment? I think that the compulsory license that was recently granted in India on the anti-cancer drug, I think was an anti-TRIPS type behavior. Um, some, of, uh, some of the behaviors in patent offices, even with getting patents granted, the requirements, some of that could be considered to be anti-TRIPS, but I'm not certain. But I think the compulsory license, unfortunately, does not comply with the TRIPS agreement. That's probably the most egregious that I could think about right now. In tying patent rights to domestic manufacturing and actual use in country appears to be the new trick that countries are employing to nullify legally granted patent rights. Brazil and India are countries that require a patentee to make use of a patent in the country, basically forcing a domestic manufacturing requirement on foreign companies. The Chinese Patent Office has made a made in China requirement requiring inventions that have a tangible, tangential link, I hate that word, to China to file to be filed in China first first or risk losing patent protection. What is the next threat or legal trick that you are just starting to see coming up on the horizon? I can't think of anything new that I've seen recently. I think we've just made progress on some well-identified issues. I can't think of anything I've seen recently. And in progress, can you give us some of that progress? Just not, in, you know, say you've made progress. What type of progress? Um, actually, our, if I can di digress one moment to like our IP attaches on the ground in China, they actually attend court hearings, they actually participate, they actually provide input. Um, they will, I think of it as hand holding the U.S. innovator if they're having difficulty in China. They will take them to agencies and navigate things. There have been positive outcomes. Um, I can't name one specifically right now but I can't think of a name of a company, so I do apologize. But this well, is I like the fact that you're giving us some kind of, you know. Something tangible. Yes. Okay. Because, you know, we keep talking and talking and talking. What I'd like to hear is what you just said, is that you do have your attaches working with our patent holders when the infringements happen in the courts in these other countries. And I yield back. 